Next question, the uh, GMAP, which is the Georgia Measures of Academic Progress, that's replaced in the CRCT, and, and, uh, but it's no longer a multiple choice test that can be graded by a computer. Instead, humans have to grade these tests. According to teachers who have seen examples of these tests, questions, there are several ways a test question can be answered. How can a student results and teacher evaluations be based on such a subjective grading system? Um, we start with Richard on that one. You know, one of the things you look at testing, uh, you know, something I was very involved with at, at the local level. I can tell you, uh, whether it's CRCT, whether it's GMAP, you know, it's still an autopsy report, okay? It does not allow teachers to sit there and make a diagnostic test. It does not say, this is where the student started, this is where they end. To be honest, we test too much in our state. You know, the best qualified person to address the testing needs and meet the needs of, of the child is the teacher. You know, that's the way it was when I was growing up. When I was growing up, one of the things in the state of Georgia, we basically took one test. That was the Iowa. You know, but that gave the teacher the time to create the test, sit down with the child, and evaluate that. You know, when you go out in a, into life, in the real life and work, you don't send these, you know, applications of this nature. It's very subjective. And so what one person says versus another person, you know, is up to, you know, kind of their total opinion. And so, you, so I ask you, is that fair to our students? Is it fair to our teachers who their evaluation is based, or, you know, or their performance will be largely based on, quote, the test? You know, and this is incorrect. It's wrong. You know, what we are doing is that, you know, for me as an individual, I believe we should evaluate to educate. We are not doing that. Again, as I said, this is just another autopsy report. You look at the end of the year, push it off to the side, it collects dust. Thank you. Mike? You know, I look at assessment much like I did student discipline when I was a high school principal. It needed to be firm, high standards. It needed to be fair, and it needed to be consistent. Those are the same things we're looking about at in any accountability system. We want it to be high, rigorous standards. We want it to be fair to all involved, our teachers, our administrators, our superintendents, our communities, and we want it to be consistent. Yes, the format has changed. It has been changed in order to increase the rigor, to make sure that our students are prepared for those assessments at the end of the road that most parents want their kids to take to get into the schools, the SAT, the ACT. Those are aligned to the standards. These assessments are more consistent with what our young people will have to take at the end of the day. We need for them to get the experience and the training in the classrooms to perform well. We want our young people to be on a level playing field across this country, but not just against the, across the country, across the world. So you've got to go into great depth to make sure you've got a fair, consistent process to evaluate how our boys and girls are doing. There's a real rigorous process, and I could really put you to sleep, with the technical advisory committees that we have to use to examine each test item and the testing protocol. We have to vet those very thoroughly, and we use people from the field to help us develop the items, vet the items and make sure they are in fact fair. Let me back up a little bit on that same question then. Do you both agree that it's subjective, the grading system on these tests? Oh, it open-ended, yes sir. Open-ended? Yeah, open, yeah. I mean, it's the only way you can evaluate it. I mean, you, you, may have a, you may have a rubric, but it's still, you know, human graded and human subjection to it. You agree, Mike? There's what's called inter-rater reliability, and again, that's a concept where we make sure we train and we check to make sure that the ratings that are given by the teachers, by the, the evaluators, are consistent. But I'm not naive enough to believe that there is no subjectivity in that. We do the, our dead level best to eliminate that, but subjectivity does, in fact, enter into some of that despite our best efforts. Okay. 